got there? A letter from home? Yes, from Bunny. I'm huh? reading it, but I don't believe it. Why? What's not to believe? Well, it seems that that old devil jealousy has reared its ugly head in the Halper household. What? What did that blonde do to make my pal Charlie jealous? Well, um, you better put down your cigar. What for? I have something rather startling to tell you. Oh, come on with the dramatics. Come on, what did Bunny do to make Charlie jealous? Charlie made Bunny jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to put down your cigar. Oh, come on, Clancy. What could that little chimp do to make a woman jealous? Guess. Guess, guess. Uh, she's jealous because he spends more time with the boys playing poker. Uh, he loves his golf clubs better than her. He's been overworking lately, spending late hours at the club, counting money. She's jealous of the cash register. Bunny is jealous of another woman. <laughs> You're just doing this to make me cut down on smoking. I told you it was hard to believe. Hard? It's impossible. Our Charlie in a triangle? Our Charlie, who's about as unromantic as a porcupine? Oh, here, read it for yourself. Sweetie, lovely day, isn't it? Hmm? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Well, what, what, what a Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. What are you doing? I'm rating you. Rating me? Mm -hmm. This is a rate your mate quiz. Well, so how am I doing? Well, there are five grades. Excellent, very good, good, fair, and poor. So? You haven't made any of them. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Charlie, I have tried to be fair and impartial. I have leaned over backwards to give you points. Well, well, what are the questions? Well, ah, oh, now forget it, Charlie. It'll just make you feel badly. I'll, uh, I'll get you some coffee. Oh, great. First you come right out with, you didn't even make poor as a husband, and now you don't want me to feel bad. Well, I... all right, Charlie, you asked for it. <laughs> Here is a sample question. When was the last time your husband did something romantic? That's a good question. When was? I had to give you seven points on that. Hmm? Seven out of 10 isn't bad. That's seven out of 100. <laughs> out, out of 100? Mm -hmm. All I got is just seven? Charlie, come on, be honest. When was the last time you did something romantic? Well, you kidding? I, uh, I mean, uh... Uh, well, uh, here last week, I came home, I brought you a bunch of roses, beautiful roses, put my arms around you to kiss you. And you sneezed. <laughs> well, can I help it if I'm allergic to roses? I, I almost kissed you. I gave you seven points. What more do you want for a sneeze? <laughs> Let's move on to another question, huh? All right, Professor, now, please, if you don't mind, I was asking the question. Jeez. Thank you. When was the last time your husband told you he loved you? You remember, Charlie? Oh, now, come on, what kind of a question is that? Of course I remember. The last time I said I love you was... When I returned that expensive pearl necklace and got a refund. <laughs> Very funny. You know, if I'm such a nothing husband, what's that make you? You married me. Nobody forced you. You put your finger out for that little ring all by yourself. I think it's a little late to complain. Honey, look, I'm not complaining. Oh, Charlie, this is silly. Oh, I'm sorry I even started it. It doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't mean a thing, except all of a sudden I'm pretty poor in your book. <laughs> well, that doesn't exactly make a fella jump for joy, you know. Charlie, you are not poor in my book. Yeah, I'm not? Of course not. I adore you, <laughs> you little monkey. <laughs> yeah. See, <laughs> so have to. Do you have to call me that? <laughs> Little monkey? Well, I've been calling you that since we first met. Yeah, well, now I can tell you that that isn't exactly one of my pet names for me. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry, honey. I, I just never realized it bothered you. Well, it does bother me. I mean, the words... Little monkey have overtones like maybe I'm not good looking. <laughs> oh, honey. Now, I got news for you, Bunny. I, I could have been good looking. I turned it down. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I'm sorry I ever brought the subject up. You knew I wasn't Cary Grant when we were married. It said right there on the license, it said Charles Halper. It did not say Cary Grant. <laughs> I'll bet you wish it did, huh? Charlie, I don't wish anything of the sort. I don't want a Cary Grant. I want a you. 
You mean that? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> With all my heart. Thank you. I thank you. And, I, and I'm sorry, Bunny. I'm sorry I blew my stack like that. <laughs> well, honey, that's all right. But I, I just don't want you ever to have any doubts about the way I feel about you, okay? I, I won't. Okay, okay. I, I won't. Honey, yeah. if they gave me a million dollars, well, I, I, I wouldn't be married to a Cary Grant instead of you. Really? Of course not. I'm very lucky to have you for a husband. Thank you. And that way, I never have to worry about another woman wanting to take you away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. I'm Diana Lawrence. Diana, Diana, uh, Diana Lawrence. I, uh... oh yeah, yeah. I talked to your agent the other day. Yes, so he said. Yeah, I, well, I'm sorry, but I'm very busy today, and I won't have too much time. Didn't he tell you we weren't gonna audition for next week? Well, yes, he did. But I thought that I'd stop by anyway and say hello and uh, maybe drop off some pictures. Well, he already left pictures. Oh, he did? Yeah, and I'm really sorry that you had to make a trip here for nothing. Oh, it wasn't for nothing. You see, I had a chance to meet you, and uh, that's a thrill and an honor. <laughs> meet me? That's, that's a thrill and an honor? Well, Mr. Halper, you may not realize it, but in this business, you're a legend. Legend? Well, certainly. Why, in another era, it would be like meeting the great Ziegfeld. Oh, well, now you can't compare me to that. I mean, sure, that Copa is one of the top nightclubs in the country. It's true, I have discovered a, a lot of big talent in my time, but not in a million years could you compare me to... You really think so? <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know, I've been looking forward to this meeting, and uh, I must say I'm a little surprised. Su surprised? Uh-huh. I expected a much older man. Yes? <laughs> Why, I thought surely a man in your position with all these responsibilities would be older and um, a little stouter and a little shorter and certainly not so cute. <laughs> well, I hardly expected the young crew-cut type. <laughs> Why don't you sit down a while? <laughs> oh, thank you. I... Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Miss, uh, Miss Lawrence. Diana. Diana, Diana. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I think we talked enough about me. Why, why don't we talk about you? All right, uh, what would you like to hear? Well, what else did you like about me? <laughs> <laughs> May I be frank? Oh, do, do. <laughs> Magnetism. Magnet, ma uh, magnetism? <laughs> oh, I knew that a man in your position would exude power and force and drive, but I never dreamt that it would be so compelling. Why, look at me, I'm all goosebumps. Just being near you makes me, uh, ooh, shiver all over. <laughs> you want your coat back? <laughs> You're amazing. Huh? Why, you don't even realize how you affect a woman. Me affect a woman? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. You got, you got the wrong guy, Miss Lawrence. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I know what I am. Oh, only this morning I was saying to somebody... <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm no Cary Grant. I'm more like a... Kirk Douglas. <laughs> Kirk Douglas? <laughs> I was referring to the strength, to the character in the face. I don't know why we have to wait till next week to audition you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make a note. Wait, you'll come in tomorrow, we'll have the orchestra here, and we'll hear some of your songs. Oh, you're terribly sweet. What sweet. It was wonderful of you to come down here, all the way down here, bring your pictures, and it's the least I can do. And please, my dear, please, don't, don't think of me as, as Charles Halper, the legend. Think of me as Charles Halper, 
your friend. <laughs> until tomorrow? Oh, yes, until tomorrow. And oh, thank you so much, Mr. Halper. Oh, Peshaw. <laughs> still working on your little Rachel May quiz. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's sure a lot different when you take the real life test. Charlie, uh, what real life test are you talking about? Oh, just something that happened today. Oh, something that happened today? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I see. Hi, Hi Russ. Hi, Russ. Hi. Hi. Say, would it be all right if I put in an overseas call to Dad? Why, Russ? Is something wrong? Yeah, it's kind of a crisis. Well, what crisis? What? What? Well, it's the biggest disaster that's ever happened to me. I I've got to talk to Dad to find out what to do. Well, Russ, what happened? I've dated two girls for the same night. Oh. <laughs> Russ, that is a disaster. How did that ever happen? I have the faintest idea, but it happened, and I got to call Dad. I don't know what to do. No, you don't have to call your dad for advice in the romance department. Anything you want to know about handling women, you just ask Uncle Charlie. Oh, really? <laughs> and as for advice as to which girl to take out tonight, my suggestion is take both. What? You want me to get killed? <laughs> Not killed. Appreciated. <laughs> you see, Russ, in my experience with women, I found that when one girl sees that another girl is interested in you, it keeps her in line. She, um, knows she can't take it for granted. I never thought of it that way. By golly, I'll do it. Uncle Charlie, I never dreamed you'd know anything about women. <laughs> you poor kid. <laughs> All right, son, run along, Ross. And let me tell you, any time I get any kind of a problem, you just come to old Charles. <laughs> Tell me, old Charles, <laughs> when did you get so expert in the romance department? Well, Bunny, it isn't something you just get expert in. It's something you're either born with or you're not. <laughs> and you were born with it. It uh, looks that way, yeah. <laughs> Funny, there's no fever there. <laughs> Just can't believe I've got something, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, Diana Lawrence might give you a little argument there. <laughs> halt. <laughs> Who is Diana Lawrence? Oh, didn't I tell you? No, dear, no, no, you didn't tell me. Who is she? Oh, just some attractive singer who was in my office today. Oh. <laughs> Charlie? Charlie, <laughs> would you like to finish your story? Well, for your information, she happens to consider me a legend. A what? <laughs> a legend. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> See? There you go. There you go with that superior attitude again, huh? Well, you better take a better look at me because she also happens to think of the young crew cut type. What crew cut? You're losing your hair. <laughs> too close to me. Here you see me every day, and, and you don't even notice my resemblance to Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas! <laughs> oh, Charlie, darling, but I suppose this, this Diana Lawrence thought you looked like Kirk Douglas, huh? As a matter of fact, yes. And, and I'll tell you something else. I'm giving her an audition tomorrow, and I'll probably use her in the show. Oh! Oh, ho! Oh, now I get the whole picture. Uh-huh. And I am supposed to be wildly jealous. It's your life. Do what you want. <laughs> well, Charlie, darling, I'm going to tell you something. Ordinarily, I think I would be wildly jealous. There is only one thing that's stopping me. And what's that? I'm too busy laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Thing 
to me Something that simply mystifies me Tell me, why should it be You have the power to hypnotize me Let me live beneath your spell Do, do that voodoo that you do so well Cause you do something to me Something to me that nobody else can do. Did you like it? You bet. Oh, boy. Thanks, Earl. Take five. Oh, boy, I tell you, I know I can use you in the new show. Oh, Mr. Halper, you don't know what an honor it is for me to be appearing in your club. Oh, you just don't know. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, why, Bunny, what are you doing here? I just thought I'd drop by and see a legend at work. <laughs> um... Say, uh, you two ought to meet, uh, uh, Bunny. This is uh, Diana uh, Lawrence. Lawrence, and this is Bunny. How do you do? Hello. My wife. Oh. Uh, you, you seemed a little surprised. Well, it, it's just that I didn't think Mr. Halper was married. Oh, you just didn't think that young crew-cut type would be tied down, eh? <laughs> yes. Well, well no. Uh, what I really mean is, well, it really must be marvelous married to a man like this. Yes, I just get goosebumps all the time. <laughs> uh, she sings great. Yes, I can see she has a very good voice. <laughs> well, uh, actually, if I did well, it was because Mr. Halper was so helpful. Uh, he's really very inspiring to sing for. <laughs> yes, he's a regular Albert Schweitzer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, uh, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd better be going, Mr. Halper. There's so much to do. Surely. Oh, uh, uh, please, allow me. Allow me. And uh -oh. will you feel free to call on me anytime for any kind of help with wardrobe or routines, anything? Could I, could I call a cab for you? Oh, you're very sweet, but I can manage. I'll just bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Halper. Mrs. Halper. <laughs> never be jealous over you. Why not? Because you're my husband. And because I know that you are a decent, idealistic human being who would never do anything that he'd be ashamed of. And because I love you, and I trust you. What a horrible thing for a wife to say. <laughs> Funny. Hi, darling. Honey, I want, I want, I want to talk to you about your attitude. Oh, honey, I'll, you look tired. Come on, I'm sit not tired. down here and rest. I don't want to rest. That's it, darling. Sit right down there. I'll get the evening paper. I don't please. want the evening paper. But you mean to tell me you're not upset about Diana Lawrence? Of course not. I think she's great. You think, you think she's great? Of course, honey. As soon as I came home this afternoon, I called Phil Brokaw and told him how great you said she was. You, you called Phil Brokaw and, right. and you told him how, how great you thought? Yeah, he and he said she would be perfect for the job. He he thought she, uh, she would be That's perfect? That's right. So tomorrow night she opens at the Ace of Clubs. <laughs> Ace of Clubs? No, she's going to work for me, honey. In a pig's eye, <laughs> Let 
let out all that steam. I am going to break every bone in your body. I said, I said, let out steam, not blood. Linda, darling. Yeah, you're Uncle Charlie. What's he doing in the closet? He's trying to get off the hook. <laughs> oh. Yes, now, darling, why don't you run on to your room and play, sweetheart? But why? Well, darling, because I want to have a nice, quiet talk with your Uncle Charlie. Oh, boy, can I stand listen? Uh, no, uh, darling, <laughs> want you to run on to your room and play now. Gee whiz, if I can't listen, how am I ever going to learn to yell at my husband? <laughs> well, darling, you will just have to start with that handicap. Now, run to the room. <laughs> Charlie, help her come out of that closet. I don't want her, you're too mad. You're darn tootin' I'm mad. And what is upsetting me is that... Well, that you are acting like a kid. Oh, Charlie, you are so blind. Can't you see that this girl is buttering you up and complimenting you because she wants something, a job? Oh, they're all the same, that type. Compliments buttering up. They don't mean a word they say. I know it. So, <laughs> Mr. Romeo, so just don't you forget when she... Uh, you know it? All along. Well, then, Charlie, help her. For heaven's sakes, why? Why'd I let her get away with it? Yes. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because I... I like the sound of what she said. What? Oh, sure. It was all a lot of malarkey. Every, everything was said for a reason, but I liked it. For, for a while there, I could... I could pretend I was everything I'm not. You see, honey, when, when a face like this hears words like that, well, it made me feel pretty. <laughs> and you aren't hearing those words at home from the person who should be saying them, huh? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> we're married a long time. I, I can't expect you to talk like when we first met. Why not? still feels the same way. Why shouldn't I talk the same way? Charlie, look, I'm sorry, but, but I promise from here on in, I intend to tell you exactly the way I feel, okay? Okay. So, how about, how about starting right now? <laughs> I love you, you little monkey. <laughs> no, not, not, not the rose, not the rose, not the rose, not the rose. <laughs> Bunny, bunny, mm, mm, tis, 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 tis. What um, is this um, all about? Well, I was working on the other side of your rate your mate quiz. You know, the husband oh. side. Yeah, but well, how am I doing, honey? Sorry, kid. <laughs> what? Let me see this. When was the last time your wife did something romantic? And you gave me a zero on this? Bunny, I bent over backwards to give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> oh, now, come on, Charlie. Just a doggone minute here, Dagnabbit. Listen, I am always doing romantic things. Well, well, well don't you remember about a week ago when I had that marvelous dinner, just you and me with the table all set with candlelight? Yeah, one, one candle lighting the whole room. Yeah. yeah. Now, that was kind of romantic, wasn't it? Yeah, I gotta admit it. That, that was romantic. Yeah. <laughs> There's also another wonderful way to hide the fact you burned the pot roast. <laughs> <laughs>